Two of the orders now, and we're at the final shops. All right, so we got the box here. One fish. Here's our plex. Okay, so it's another day in the fish room, and in today's video, we're gonna be doing a few things. So in today's video, we're gonna be boxing up a ton of fish to sell. We've got some orders from some shops today. So three shops have ordered. We're gonna bag up a ton of fish and sell them. And um, I'll take you guys along for that journey. A couple days time, we're also gonna be picking up some more zebra plecos. So if you come over here to this side of the fish room, you can see in this tank, we've got our original five zebra plecos. So you can see in here, we've got one there, one there, one there. Um, there should be one up the back there. And there's probably one hiding in and around here. I've got this colony of zebra plecos and zebra plecos are definitely my favorite pleco by far. I'd definitely call these guys as well my favorite fish in the entire hobby. So I got lucky enough where the breeder that I originally bought these guys from had another four available. So I've got five at the moment and we're gonna upgrade our colonies to have nine zebra plecos in the fish room. But because I've got this colony established in here and they're all doing really well, I kind of don't want to interrupt this colony. I just want to let these guys sit in here and do their thing. We're gonna set up another colony in this tank over here. So in here we've got five triple threes. These guys look really good. They put on a ton of size and they grow a lot quicker than the zebra. Do. But we're going to take this colony out of here so that we've got room for the zebra plecos to go into. I'm not too sure where we're going to put this colony of fish. Uh, we'll find some room in the fish room to put these guys. But this way we won't have all our eggs in one basket. And uh, later on, once the zebra plecos have grown up in a couple of years' time, we can then separate them and organize them into the sexes and groups that we want to. So we're going to start bagging up some fish and uh, getting to work. But I guess I'll keep you guys updated with what's going on today. And we're going to take all these fish to the shops. So we've delivered two of the orders now and we're at the final shop. So I've just been in a little bit of a rush and haven't vlogged everything. We'll go in and deliver these fish and then we'll go back to the fish room. Well, that wraps up another day in the fish room. Uh, we've taken out the orders. Hopefully tomorrow we can set up the tank for the zebras and hopefully we get them, but I guess we'll just have to play it by ear. So I'll see you guys later. Okay, so it's now the following morning and today is the big day where the Zebs are going to be arriving. So we've got four Zebs on the way and they're going to be going into this tank. Now in this tank, you can see, sorry for the reflection, but there's a colony of these Dwarf Neon Praycox Rainbows, which I use as dithers. These guys also breed in here and you can see in this spawning mop, there's going to be heaps and heaps and heaps of eggs in there. So also, if you're interested, there are tons of these Dwarf Neon Praycox Rainbows available on my website down below. Now, because the four Zebs are going to go in here, we have to take these five eligible threes out of here. So we need a tank for these guys to go into and I thought I might do some rearranging because over in this tank over here You can see we have some of these really cool long nose whiptails So you can see one of the big males there and um, there's a bunch of these guys throughout this tank that look really really cool But I think I think the tank is too small for these guys now and they're not gonna be able to breed in here We're gonna take those long nose whiptails out We're gonna put them in a tank over the other side that we cleared out yesterday They used to have some adult angels in there and see if they start breeding and we're gonna put our triple threes in here And then we're gonna take the zebs and put them in here here. So we're going to leave the Praycox in there. They're going to be great dithers for these guys. These shy Zebra Plecos have some turquoise rainbows with them, which work as dithers. But they're very, very shy, those, those um, rainbows. So let's get to work. We'll take these guys out, do the swap arounds, and uh, then we'll go and collect our Zebs. fished them out and you can see in here so we've got the triple threes here here's like my thumb for comparison so we've got the two different types so it seems like this is the white strain and then the yellow strain um, these are all in the caves that I actually made but if you look in here like we're gonna have to wait it out because these guys just jam themselves in there like you can do anything you want that guy's not gonna come out of there so that's pretty annoying um, there's also another one in here but we've got the five in here oh he might come out Looks like two have jammed themselves in there. I'm gonna put them like that and see if they come down into the water. If you come over here, you can also see these really, really cool long nose whip tails. So we've got the five in here. These guys are all probably the same age. I'm assuming that we've probably got four males and one female because this one's the smallest and has the different shape. Um, and these guys are huge and have pretty much all the same shape. So I don't really wanna to touch it because it's kind of gross, but so they can have a better 
look, I feel like that might be a female. Now, someone in the comments might have a better idea. I really hope it's a female because, um, I mean, I've been waiting a long time for these guys to get up to size. And here's my hand for comparison. So these guys are quite large now. Such a cool fish though. I definitely do think that might be a female. Apparently these guys, what they like to do is they'll spawn on the glass. So we're gonna transfer those over to the other aquarium and we're gonna put the triple threes into this aquarium over here. Okay, so I'm going to talk up because I don't want to turn the whole system off to get some audio, but we're going to set this guy up. We've got all the caves in there. It's going to be pretty simple. I'm just going to make like a stack and then I'm just going to give the glass a clean and we should be good to go. I'm also going to add some of these mulberry leaves and some of these guava leaves to the aquarium because these guys are going to form a bunch of biofilm over the top of them. So if the zebras are hungry at any point in time, they can eat the biofilm. They can also eat the leaf and the leaf will look great. Okay, because I'm by myself, I don't have anyone to help me record. Right, so I've got the box here of our fish, and I'm going to literally just unbox them, check that they're all okay, because we're right here at the airport. They should be fine. They've only been sent out this morning. I'm curious to see the size of these guys, so here they are. Four more Zebs. So I don't know if you can see, there's one there, there's one there, one more here. So we'll take these to the fish room and put them in their, their tanks. So we're back in the fish room now and we've put the plecos in here so that at the moment drip acclimating you can see them all here they're obviously losing a little bit of color there they've actually started to color up a little bit more that's just because of the stress of being shipped and also just because that bag was a little bit cold when they came in so that temperature might have been a little bit too cold for these guys but they're shaping up pretty well i'm not too sure as to sex is with these guys i mean like someone else is going to be a better judge than me but from what it seems i mean they look like probably all males i don't know if there's any females there there could be a female right there there in the middle but here's our plex we're gonna leave them uh, drip acclimate for probably as long as possible and then we'll introduce them to their aquarium okay so I'm gonna introduce these guys in now they've been acclimating for quite a bit these guys are a lot smaller than the last ones I got so there we go. Okay. All right, that's all of them. that was really scary I hate Moving these guys around suck, but um, they're all in the tank, so we're gonna let them settle in, and then we can check up on them later uh, after they've settled in. So, anyways, such a cool fish, so it's definitely worth the wait. Okay, so recording while I drive to go pick these plecos up. So the drive's literally like an hour away, so I'm not too used to doing these drives. We're gonna go pick up, I think it's six females and two males, and these are just normal bristlenose plecos, so they're just adults. The reason I'm doing this is because I've been selling out of plecos, just like to the shops and stuff. I didn't realize how many you needed to produce to like keep up with the demand. So here in Australia, you're not actually legally allowed to import bristlenose into the country. So that's where you can kind of like do all right with them because you're not competing against importers, you're competing against actual other breeders. So I'm just bumping up my production, but we'll get to the destination, get these plecos and uh, get straight back to the fish room if I can, so yeah. Okay, so we just got back to the fish room and we can open up our little box here. And uh, we've got eight of these big bristlenose plecos in here that we can breed. So I think we've got four females and four males, which means we can make an extra four pairs. So this is really exciting because what I like to do is I've explained this in a few other videos, but you can see in this tank, we've got a pair of these koi angels, but down below we've got a pair of bristlenose. And in this cave, I'll turn the light on. You might be able to see up the back of this cave is a ton of these bristlenose fry. And this is just a great way of using extra tank space so if you come over here, you can see in this tank, we've got a bunch of these GBRs, these German blue rams, but down the bottom, we've got some plecos growing out. And that means I get to make a little bit of extra money and produce some extra fish, which is really, really cool and exciting. So I'm glad to have a bunch of these guys because I couldn't sell enough of them and uh, I'll be finding a few tanks for them. To wrap up this vlog, we can come over here and have a look at the Zebs. So the Zebs have settled in and you can see there's one here underneath this piece of driftwood. And these guys are very small, like much smaller Okay, this <laughs> rainbow is going to crash the show. These guys are much smaller than the other plecos I have in my other tank. Um, these guys are way, way, way smaller. There was a few around here. You can see the reflection of one there right down the bottom. We're not going to be able to see them too well. There's one in there. There's a few more just hiding in and around the aquarium, but for the most part, these guys are doing good. So you can see this is the, the main star of the show right here. And I'm just recording these guys so that I can remember how small they were because you can see that cave right there. I mean, he's very tiny. Like come over here and look at these guys. Here's one right here. You can see the size difference straight away. These guys are a lot bigger. So they've got a lot of growing to do. They're going to be getting some tetracolor granules and uh, hopefully eating those tonight and we'll see how they go. I've got some rapache that I'll get tomorrow and um, yeah, but uh, 
I guess that's gonna wrap this vlog up, guys. So, so thank you so much for watching it. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.